deplete your energy, doesn't it? You take your energy field. Oh, totally, yes. But the only way that can again happen is because you are not dealing with an emotion that caused the attraction, then they connect to you, and then they can certainly de deplete your energy in that particular part of your body. So lots of cancers, for example, particularly childhood cancers, are caused by spirit attachment. Right? Spirit attachment is one of the largest causes of disease on earth today. Right? But how can the spirit attachment occur? Because the emotion inside of you attracts them. Right? Now I think last week I mentioned a lady in Greece who who had, who had diabetes, I think, mm. yeah. yeah, for those who were here. So she had diabetes 17 years through a spirit attachment. But her emotion caused the attraction. All right? So once we talked to the spirit and got the spirit to move on, she still needed to deal with that emotion. Because if she doesn't, what's going to happen? Another spirit will come back and find that injury and attach. So can you see if that's happening in somebody? Certainly, any, almost anyone can see if it's happening. You can even ask yourself. Lay yourself down on the table, hang a pendulum over the top of your, your what is it, third chakra, and ask yourself. The pendulum will rotate in the clockwise direction if you're telling the truth, and it will stop rotating if you're not. Do, do all of you know this? No. no? Okay. Your soul, if your soul's emotions causes all of these flows of energy. Remember, emotion is energy in motion, right? So your soul's emotion causes all of these flows of energy occurring in your body. The flows of energy cross over to these meridians. These meridians are called chakras, right? Now, those chakras, the seven main chakras, are where I think it's what, 192 meridians or something cross over. At those locations, when you are in complete tune with yourself, the chakra will, will energetically rotate anything above it in a clockwise direction. Is that a clockwise direction? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Looking down on it. Yeah. Now, you can ask yourself, if you have an open chakra and it's rotating in a clockwise direction automatically, you can then ask yourself questions about what you feel about something at your soul level. I remember when somebody first did it with me, he laid me down on the table. This was a long time ago, but it's 12 years ago. He laid me down on the table, and I was, uh, I was feeling myself to be in love with someone I wasn't with right, at the time. And he holds the, the thing over my uh, third chakra. He says, do you love this lady? And I saying yes, and the thing stopped there. <laughs> so the truth was? No. Yeah. That's one way to find out the truth. <laughs> Did I accept it? No. <laughs>